Dramatic body cam video from Apple Valley. A sheriff's deputy opens fire on a 15 year old suspect. His family claims he has autism and was having an episode. Well, the family called law enforcement on the team, but are saying that deputies went too far. Now a lethal use of force investigation is underway. KTLA Shelby Nelson is in Apple Valley with the latest. Where is he at? They're tense moments that only last for about five to seven seconds once 15 year old Ryan Gaynor comes into view on this Apple Valley deputy's body camera. Authorities say they received an emergency call on Saturday at around 448 in the afternoon. Apple Valley deputies were dispatched to a home on Iroquois Road where they say the teen was assaulting family members and damaging property. Yes, assault and battery. Okay. Yes. So that's your brother and he's, assault and he's assaulting your yes. sister. Yes. Okay. Now he's banging on the work on door. The 911 call lasting for more than five minutes. Parts of it removed by law enforcement seemingly to not disclose addresses or personal information. Does he still have glass in his hand? Yes, he does. Here's a different view from another deputy approaching the house. Authorities say Gaynor charged at a deputy with a garden tool that had a sharp bladed end, prompting the shooting that killed the teen. The family's attorney tells KTLA Gaynor was autistic and having a mental health crisis. Police not confirming that and not confirming if they were aware of the circumstances when they arrived. I don't really know the family. Um, I see the boy coming from the school bus on a usually on a daily basis. He walked by the front of my house and I'll wave. You know, he usually waves back. Ah, what the <laughs> heck? Here Gaynor is on a swing in video his family's attorney shared with us. The attorney saying the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is not telling the whole story. They knew or should have known that Ryan uh, was an individual, a teen with autism, as the Sheriff's Department had come to that residence before to give assistance. And this time they decided to depart from that training and immediately jump to lethal force. Many now criticizing the deputy's response, saying less lethal rounds could have been used. But others believe in that split second, the response was justified. Seeing that video, I don't know how much of a choice he had not to do what he did. A very, very, very dangerous job. And you know, he had to go home to his family as well. You just have to wonder, you know, even though the law covers that for them, uh, what, he, what he did, was there an alternative way of dealing with it? You know, I mean, stun gun. The San Bernardino County Sheriff Shannon Dykus released a statement saying in part our social safety net for those experiencing mental illness needs to be strengthened. Our deputies handle seemingly insurmountable calls daily. Most of these calls do not end in violence. However, this one ended in tragedy for Ryan, his family and for the deputies who responded. In the meantime, some neighbors told us that it took deputies 10 minutes for them to actually start trying to resuscitate Ryan. We're still trying to get an answer about that from the Sheriff's Department. We're in Apple Valley. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.